The usage of internet computers cross-chain protocol has surged by 13 times, driven largely by the growing popularity of Bitcoin-based decentralized finance applications. This increase is attributed to the expanding role of platforms like Rainbow Protocol, TAP Protocol and Bitfinity, which use internet computers chain fusion to deploy smart contracts directly on the Bitcoin network. Welcome to VAR India News R. The chain fusion subnet has experienced an extraordinary increase in activity with a 1,230% surge in the past year, alongside a massive 2,040% jump in message counts. This growth signifies significant progress in terms of usage and engagement on the subnet, suggesting that the underlying blockchain network is gaining traction. This capability has been pivotal as it eliminates the need for third-party bridges, providing a more secure and efficient way to interact with Bitcoin-based decentralized finance applications. The surge highlights the evolving intersection between Bitcoin and smart contract functionality, positioning Internet Computer as a key player in bridging the traditional blockchain systems with decentralized finance solutions. Despite the significant growth in network activity for the Internet Computer Protocol, its token price has remained relatively muted. A variety of factors contribute to this divergence between technical growth and market performance. The Internet Computer Protocol initially made waves with its vision to revolutionize decentralized computing and disrupt centralized cloud services like AWS and Google Cloud. However, several challenges have affected its price performance. A key issue is the project's lack of widespread adoption. Despite high-profile backing and an ambitious mission, many of its decentralized applications have struggled with user engagement. Notably, apps like OpenChat and DSCVR have faced hurdles in attracting a solid user base. Additionally, while Internet Computer Protocol's technology offers immersive scalability and speed for smart contracts and decentralized applications, concerns regarding its security and the complexity of integrating it into the existing systems have slowed its acceptance. Moreover, there has been a noticeably op opacity in the progress of its ecosystem, contributing to skepticism in the market, which might be influencing the stagnant price despite the increasing activity in its network. Moving ahead, we need to check on the dichotomy between network growth and token price performance remains a critical area for analysis in the ongoing evolution of ICP. Let's look into today's headlines. OpenAI buys Chat.com to catch on the AI buzz. OpenAI has brought the domain Chat.com. Clicking on it automatically routes the users to the ChatGPT website. Previously purchased for $15.5 million by HubSpot's co-founder Dharmesh Shah, the domain name was registered in 1996 and saw significant investment due to its prime fit with the rapidly growing AI chatbot sector. OpenAI's Sam Altman confirmed the acquisition. OpenAI saw a $6.6 .6 billion funding round in October that valued the company at $157 billion. Rishit Junjunwala, named as the new CEO as Truecaller Leadership, steps down. Software company Truecaller has named Rishit Junjunwala as its new chief executive officer. Junjunwala is the current chief of products at the Swedish company and has been working with Truecaller since 2015. He is also the managing director of the company's India division and will take over his new role on January 9th. Co-founders Alan Mamardi and Nami Zaringhalam announced that they have decided to give up their operational duties at Truecaller from June 30th of 2025. CrowdStrike plans to buy startup Adaptive Shield to bolster SaaS security. CrowdStrike has planned to purchase a startup to deliver unified protection across identity and SaaS security within hybrid cloud environments. The endpoint security giant said its proposed acquisition of Israel-based Adaptive Shield will enhance identity-based and SaaS application security across on-premises, active directory, cloud-based identity providers and SaaS apps. 
The deal will enable comprehensive visibility and control across human and non-human identities for more than 150 SaaS apps. Google developing a Gemini-powered AI replies for Pixel phone app. Google is reportedly working on a new AI replies feature for the phone app on Pixel smartphones. This feature will suggest AI-generated responses to complement the existing contextual call screen which allows users to respond to calls without picking up. Call Assist will provide AI-powered smart replies based on the caller's call screen responses. The current call screen replies in the Pixel Phone app lets users respond to calls with suggested responses. Amazon in talks for a new multi-billion dollar investment in Anthropic. Amazon.com is in talks for its second multi-billion dollar investment in artificial intelligence startup Anthropic. The cloud services giant announced an investment of $4 billion in the OpenAI rival in September last year, saying its customers would gain early access to Anthropic's technology. Anthropic uses Amazon's cloud services to train its AI model. Amazon has now asked the startup to also use a large number of servers powered by chips developed by the cloud computing major. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.